See, when you want the truth, and when you want the facts, you better watch no filter, because I got your back. Ain't no ducking, ain't no dodging, ain't no scheming, ain't no hiding, because I got that work. You want to get this work. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk, and it's your girl, Ingrid. How y'all doing out there? How y'all feeling? I want to send a big shout-out to my subs because you guys know that I have the best subs in the whole wide world. And if you would like to be a part of the No Filter News and Talk family, all you have to do is like, share, subscribe, put your thinking cap on, hit the notification bell, and come on over because we will welcome you with open arms. So, listen, if you ever need to contact me, all of my information is in the description box. I'm mainly like 100 i'm always on my instagram no filter news and talk page if you not following me you need to follow me okay just go over there if you need to email me something my email is there and if you just feel like i'm just a pretty dope person then my paypal and cash app is there too like whatever okay <laughs> so like holla at your girl now let's go to um now, another thing, people give a lot of content creators flack. A lot of people on YouTube, like, y'all, they give a lot of people flack. And they say, oh, well, you shouldn't be talking about this. Y'all shouldn't be talking about this. Let that person rest in peace. Let's, let's, let me tell you something. When they uploaded Nipsey Hussle, death video, that gave everybody free, free will to give their two cents on what happened and how it looked at from different angles. If you don't like it, don't put your information out there. That's it. That's all. If you just don't want nobody to talk about your information, don't put your information out there. People go live on Instagram and then we hear different parts and different pieces and then we speak on it. Now y'all mad. So <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. But don't put your information out there. Now, can we talk about this Zach Say Stacy thing? I I know, I know. Like men should never should never put their hands on a woman. Ever. Just walk away or don't even go over there in the first place. Like if she's toxic, the relationship was toxic or whatever the case may be or or if you felt like you're going to do something to her or somebody no matter what. Listen, you block them. You are in control over you. You in control over you. People are not in control of you. Block them from every point, like from everywhere, from social media. Block them from your phone. Block them. Get a whole new number so they can't even call. Like block them out of your life if you felt like that person is toxic. To stop you from doing anything that's going to land you in jail, you know, just, just don't deal with them. Okay, now. I just want to, so I'm looking at this. I'm watching the Zach Stacy clip. I've been watching it for the, you know, for the longest when it first came out. Right. And I just had some questions like, why is the camera right there? And why is it recording? You know, if, a, if, if it's a camera that's in the kitchen, the camera would be up high. So may, so we would maybe, okay, maybe let me, let me just say maybe, and we will be able to see more. Does that make sense? We'll be able to see more of the kitchen and everything like that, you know, or whatever. We don't. Okay, this camera or whatever we, this footage we have is right here at this door. So, I got a couple questions. Now, like I said, should no man put their hands on a woman? And the way he mangled her, knowing that he is an ex-football player, so he has the muscles and the strength, he definitely should be held accountable for doing that. But women... But women, but women, I know y'all not going to like me. I know y'all not going to like me after this, but you can't provoke people either. Ooh, E-40. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, you can't provoke people either and then play victim. You That shouldn't even be allowed either. So I'm looking at the camera placement. It almost looked like it was intentionally done. You know what I'm saying? It's because we don't have the footage of what happened before, you know, and from her answering the door or whatever, we have the footage of him mangling her. I'm just saying, if we're going to tell a story, we got to tell everything. We need everything. Okay. If we're going to tell a story, we need all of it. How much? All of it. What about a little bit? 
all of it. We need all of it. Let me stop playing. But yeah. Okay. So we get the footage of him beating up her, right? And it seems like he had came over or whatever. And maybe they got into it, whatever the case may be. But we see him beating her up. But we see this camera. Why is this camera here? What? That's the question that I have. I know y'all not going to like it. I know y'all not going to like me. But I want to know why all of a sudden are you recording? That's almost like you setting somebody up. Now, how can a woman like this that's living in an apartment like this that look like a little trap house? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know y'all not going to like me, but I'm going to say it. How could she set him up? Easy. You know his triggers. You know the things that pushes his buttons. So if I've been playing on your phone all day and I done called you and I done told you that I done slept with this person, I done slept with this person on the team and I done triggered you. So now I knew you was coming over there and I'm recording. And I'm recording for you to come over there. So when you come over, bingo, I got you beating me up. Big payday. You in jail. People sympathize and they sending me money. I'm out of this little trap. And I'm on to the big league. I'm just saying. I'm just telling y'all what I see. Why is it recording? So maybe it was just recording because she has a camera in the house. And maybe the area is not too good. And so she keeps the camera in the house. What happened when you answered the door? What happened when he came in the door? Were y'all sitting down talking for 30 minutes? Did y'all eat for 45 minutes? What? That's all I'm saying is what happened? Because I know that we get a small part and then everybody and they mom, oh, that's messed up. That's so sad. That's sad. Why? I mean, like, what? Can we get more? What happened? And I know how I'm a woman. And I know how women operate. And I got brothers and all that. And I know how people can trigger people. And and they know what buttons to push. And they know what to say. And like I said, I'm going to say it again. For the little people in the back, before you jump in my comment. And before I just pulverize you. I'm just going to say this again. Should no man be putting their hands on a woman? Should no woman and should no woman be trying to trigger no man either? My Y'all know, in all of my videos, I always say, well, the majority of them, leave folk alone. Leave people alone. People not playing with a full deck. So don't be trying to trigger nobody and make them mad and get them upset because they're not dealing with you no more. Or maybe they got somebody else. Come on, ladies. Are we going to be clean? Are we going to tell the truth? Are we going to keep it 1,000? You know how some women, you, you know how you... Sometimes you want to make that man mad. You try to make him mad. You try to make him jealous. You try to say things. That could be the case or could not be the case in this situation. Now, the way he handled her, that was just wrong. You don't do nothing like that. But all I'm asking is what happened before and why is this camera rolling? And this camera, the way, I, okay, I don't know how the camera is placed. The camera is not up high, though. That's the thing. It don't, it's not up high. It's like it's sitting on something. And it's recording. That's just what made me begin to question some things. It did. So, I mean, in my eyesight, until somebody send me some more footage, until you guys send me some more footage, I'm just saying it looked like a little setup. That's it. That's all. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm just telling you what it look like to me. I mean, don't get mad at me. I didn't upload it. I'm just telling you what it look like. And I, I mean, I can hold it in or whatever, but y'all know I'm not finna hold nothing in. Y'all know I'm gonna say what's on my mind. Y'all should know that. Y'all respect me for that. So don't hate me for this. When you respect me on a, <laughs> another day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling y'all. that it, It's the camera for me. How they say it. It's the camera for me. It's it's the camera placement for me. Why? Why is it, why is it rolling? Nobody's there to hold it. There's not. Okay. What I mean is. This is not a phone. Nobody's there holding the phone. Because they would have tried to stop it. Nobody's there holding a phone. This is. 
being recorded. So why you just so happen to record this visit? You know, if you was if you felt like, OK, well, he finna come visit his daddy. I'm just going to record for my safety. I got it. Got you. But if you that afraid, then have voluntary visitation. I mean, or not voluntary, but just have visitation. Have a supervised visitation. If you're that afraid, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even want him in my house if I'm that afraid and I got to record every time he come over here. And this is done for my safety. Then they say she didn't upload it. A friend uploaded. <clears throat> Stop lying. Anyway, peace.